right guys so this might be a little longer than normal as you can see my back seat's still dirty that's the way it is um this is how today went uh woke up my dad called and said that he needed he said are you coming over i gotta go to surgery and i said yeah i'll be over um i said i'm getting ready to leave the house right now and so as i was getting ready to leave the house um everything was good everything was fine get over to my dad's he's ready to go awesome he's walk i beep he walks out the door i'm surprised he heard me beep um he had the front door open though so i got out and i went up there and helped him get in the car um and so anyway he um we went over to the surgery got checked in i took him down to the x-ray area radiology um we got in there they he put the gown on the woman went to get the stuff for the iv and the other woman says hold on a minute hold on a minute i don't know i think he still has taken his ex i can't remember the name of it Exeltro or something like that. It's blood thinner. Yes, he took his Exeltro or Exaltro or whatever it's called. Um, he took that 48 hours prior to the surgery. Didn't know that that was something that was gonna that had to be stopped 48 hours ahead of time. Because I asked a couple different people, what does my dad have to do for his surgery? And they all were agreeing that all he has to do is make sure he doesn't take blood pressure medicine when he goes into his surgery. Or the day before. Like, you know, don't take anything after midnight and don't take your, or the only thing you could do is take your, I'm sorry. Let me start over. The only thing you could do is take his blood pressure in the morning. He couldn't eat after midnight. Okay, so there's that. So he didn't even take that. He just didn't take anything in the morning. He wanted to go in there and make sure everything was good. So we got there. Everything was good. Da, 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 da. He took his blood thinners two days prior. And he wasn't supposed to take them two days prior. Nobody told me that. Nobody told him that. It was all just something that was supposed to happen and it didn't happen. I keep looking at me, but I should be looking at that. But that's so tiny. But anyway, so... Um, they said don't, then they looked at his medications, and his medications had said that he was on that, he was taking four pills at night. That's 20 milligrams in one setting at night. They said, you're only supposed to take that in doses of five milligram, uh, five and five in the morning, five and five at night. Um, so he was taking it wrong anyway. His doctor ended up saying he's supposed to take one five milligram in the morning and one five milligram at night. He's only supposed to be taking two a day, one in the morning, one at night, not four at night. So his blood's super thin right now, which is good in a way but not good because they couldn't do a surgery also not only that he had decided not to take his antibiotics I guess they asked him when was the last time you took your antibiotics I, I don't know he said he didn't change his dressing on his foot for a day and a half because Allied Home Healthcare hadn't been out. And he just didn't do it, I guess. So, there's so much, so much going on. And it's so overwhelming. And I need to figure out what to do. Dad's safety is an issue. He needs to go in a home, and you don't want to go in a home. Um, I told him it's time. He said he really needs to go. So hopefully within the 
the next couple months maybe I can get him to go in there because he's going to realize that things aren't good, things are happening that shouldn't be happening because his not taking his antibiotics and leaving his foot wrapped for a day and a half without being changed and it's supposed to be changed twice a day, that's not good. So anyway, after I did all that, I thought, well, it's only... I normally would have been going into work at 10 o'clock this morning anyway, so I thought, well, might as well just go into work. So I stopped and got myself a bite to eat after I dropped him off and went into work. Of course, at that point, my boss wasn't very happy with me because she said, next time you gotta let me know if you're coming in. Well, okay. She said, well, I had everything all scheduled, and I said, well, I told Mary that I didn't know for sure I may end up coming in and and I did. I need I told her I need the money. Um I do. I took off last Monday, not yesterday, but last Monday. And then I took off this Tuesday, which I didn't really take all the day the day off. It only was like an hour and a half because I went in at eleven thirty. So I really was only like an hour and a half late today, so that's not bad, but I do still have to take off next Tuesday because next Tuesday I have to take him back to surgery, and Sunday he has to stop taking those one pills that I wrote down and I have at home. So if he doesn't stop taking those, he won't be able to go into surgery again. But next Tuesday it's going to be at 10 o'clock in the morning instead of 8.30, which would have been nice. Because that was like perfect. Because I went into work after that and that was cool. So, But anyway, that's that. That's how things are rolling with me right now. Um, talk with DJ on the phone. Today's his only day. Well, today he's not his only day off, but he got his day off. So he's in Michigan. I guess probably trying to fix his daughter's car since her motor's messed up since she drove through a puddle and messed up her motor. Had to buy a new one. Guess she won't do that again. Live and learn once with that. Um, anyway, that's all I got. Life's hard. Life's not easy. We all got our crosses to bear, I understand. But I get on here and I just complain about things. I know I shouldn't complain. I've got my health. I'm doing all right. I just get really, really, really frustrated at times. So, I think other people should do this too. I like, I like doing this. Oh yeah, I wore my clothes today and I took this along just in case I got to go into work. I wasn't gonna, I was gonna take off and go do my laundry and clean and stuff, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I do have to do laundry. It's gotta get done. I don't wanna do it, but it's gotta get done. But I don't wanna do it, but it's gotta get done. I'm glad I cleaned the other day. I got quite a bit done, that was nice. But I still have a mouse problem. My dog probably still has fleas. Maybe. But I had a flea problem. I don't think I have a flea problem anymore. I haven't felt any fleas or seen any fleas, so that's good. And I haven't seen any fleas on my dog, so that's good. Um, I've got to take care of myself. I tend to forget that. So, anyway... I'm going in here and getting myself a tuna sandwich because tuna is healthy for you and I like tuna. So that's what I'm going to get myself. I'm at Subway.